Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Sangeeta. Welcome to Health Talks by Medical Rumor and Shade, Hyderabad. Today we have one of our senior consultant, urogynecologist Dr. Lalita with us. Hello ma'am. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hello. So ma'am, today let's talk about common urological problems in pregnancy. Doctor, what are the common urological problems in pregnancy? During pregnancy, urinary tract infection is the most common problem, which is a very common problem in women even in non-pregnant state. But during pregnancy, urinary infections can lead to serious consequences both for the mother as well as the baby. Urinary infection, whether symptomatic or sometimes even asymptomatic, can result in preterm labor, preterm premature rupture of membranes, resulting in increased fetal mobility and mortality. And also in the mother, it can result in serious kidney infections, sometimes resulting in what is called urosepsis, which can considerably increase the morbidity and even mortality in the mother. So it is very important to detect urinary infections, whether they have symptoms or not, by periodic screening, even in asymptomatic women during pregnancy. Doctor, what are the common causes of UTI or urinary tract infections and how do we treat them? If the infection is symptomatic, naturally we would do urine cultures, uh, a complete urine examination and urine culture. And if it shows bacterial presence, then we have to give antibiotics and we have to consider what is the safest antibiotic during pregnancy considering the adverse effects on the fetus. So cephalosporins are the best antibiotics during pregnancy but if the patient has recurrent urinary infections sometimes they put them on nitroferentine a low dose throughout pregnancy sometimes to prevent recurrent infections so the reasons for urinary infections in pregnant woman is because of glycosuria normally during pregnancy glucose and certain amino acids are excreted in the urine so these the urine becomes a rich culture medium for the bacterial growth. And not only that, there is stasis of urine in the urinary tract because of certain hormonal changes. There can be hydronephrosis and there can be uh, in, incomplete emptying of the bladder which results in or which makes these women more prone to urinary infections. So after urinary tract infections, what is the second most common urological problems in pregnant women. Urinary colic because of stones, kidney stones is another common problem and this is supposed to be the most common uh, cause for pain and emergency admission apart from obstetric causes. A uh, most common non-obstetric cause for admission is kidney stone during pregnancy. But most of the times, these kidney stones we try to manage conservatively. That is, we don't want to do any intervention, any surgical procedure because it carries increased risk of preterm labor or abortion if a, a surgical intervention is carried out during pregnancy. But there are certain instances where we may have to remove the stone if the patient is getting recurrent attacks of pain or if the patient is going into urosepsis because of obstruction by the stone there can be pus in the kidney then it becomes an emergency for uh, urological intervention so if the stone is in the lower ureter close to the bladder we remove the stone and it carries no increased risk especially if we do it in mid trimester but if the stone is high up in the ureter close to the kidney Sometimes we need x-rays in the operating room to locate the stone, to reach the stone. And we all know x-rays are harmful to the fetus. So in such situations, we don't try to remove the stone. We just bypass the obstruction by putting a stent and deal with the stone once the patient delivers. Doctor, according to you, common urological problems in pregnancy are UTI and kidney stones. What are your suggestions for a pregnant woman to avoid or prevent this? So that's a good question Dr. Sangeeta. Urinary infection as well as kidney stones. 
more uh, the risk is increased if the woman takes less water so one common remedy to avoid both problems is to take a lot of water and also to prevent infections one should not uh, prolong the period between bladder emptying that means between each void the patient should empty the bladder periodically that's what i mean like she should not uh, keep urine in the bladder stored for a long time that increases uh, the time for the bacterial multiplication in the bladder so uh, periodic bladder emptying taking lot of water is a uh, mainstay in the both in the prevention of urinary infections as well as stones and some people with the kidney stones they have a um, wrong uh, notion that they should not take calcium but calcium is very essential for the fetal development we all know so one should take calcium in the form of calcium citrate citrate present in the along with the calcium that prevents stone formation that citrate is a inhibitor for stone formation that means it uh, suppresses the stone formation so one need not fear taking calcium supplements which are essential for fetal development even if uh, the lady has stone so we have to take the right type of calcium doctor if urine is the most common thing in pregnancy what is your take home message for a pregnant woman to avoid this urological issues the f- most common thing uh, which can complicate the pregnancy is urinary infection so a woman as soon as she gets pregnant should get a urine check for any infection that is the universal screening we call universal screening for bacteria and also the symptoms like burning when she passes urine increased frequency of urination urgency pain in the lower abdomen or sometimes loin pain fever indicates infection spreading out of the kidney so you have to be aware of these symptoms and also get uh, the earliest consultation if you have any of these symptoms thank you so much for your valuable inputs ma'am so dear viewers please hydrate well for any further queries please post it in the chat box thank you